always a very relaxing experience. We're doing hypnosis for dentistry, and we have a patient called Matthew here, Alden. He's never been hypnotized before. We're going to do some, uh, what's called a rapid induction. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever seen hypnosis before. So uh, this is a live demo to have hypnoanalgesia. He'll be having a filling done without any anesthetic. Um, we have today Anna the nurse and Richard Casson from Richard Casson Surgery doing the work. I've worked with them before on quite a number of occasions. Are you ready? Yeah. Good, 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 good. Put your hand on my hand. Yeah. Good, and it's very safe. And I want you to turn your head and look towards me and then just press down really hard. All right, press down really hard, even harder. Let your eyes become heavy, droopy, drowsy. The next time you blink, that's hypnosis coming upon you and get ready, ready, ready. Heavy, 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 heavy. That's it. Let yourself go. There's ambling, and that's it. Sleep, relax, and just go deeper still. Relax and go deeper still. Relax and go deeper still. Deep breath in. Deep breath in and relax down. Good, you're doing well. And as you get deeper and deeper still, the less the conscious effort, the more the subconscious responds. And I'll be talking to you all the way. And as I talk to the audience for a moment, as you can see, if any of you can see uh, Matthew's eyes, he's got what's called the rapid eye flicker, which is a very good sign that he's in a, uh, already choosing to go into a very good state of relaxation and a hot hypnotic relaxation. You can see the whites of the eyes, which is very, very normal. Um, it's one of the states. Also, there starts to be a waxiness in the face and the skin, and that's also a wonderful sign. So he's an excellent subject for hypnosis. So I'm going to touch your jaw now so that you feel this numbness coming in down through the left side. Number and number. Number and number. More and more numb. Number and number. Good, good. Well done. And just relax. That's it. The more Richard works on you, the number you become. Opening wide and easy and relax. Just relax and open as easily. And you're able to remain with an easy, wide, open mouth, comfortably. Just enjoy relaxing, taking yourself off to your own special place. Keep going deeper still, that's it. That's great, man. He's doing really well. Very comfortable. He's going to find this very easy, very relaxing. And occasionally, if you can hear Richard sometimes, I don't know if you can hear Richard, is giving him a few suggestions as well. Richard's also been trained in hypnosis for dentistry, so he'll be continuing the suggestions that I give Matthew the whole time. Good, Anna's looking after you, making sure you're doing well. I'm looking after him And too. Richard's doing a wonderful job. Open just a little minute. That's it, relaxing. Good. right from the start of the procedure. You'll be able to speak easily and clearly. You also know that your ability to look after your dental hygiene is easy. Going to the dentist now is an enjoyable, relaxing experience as you have full control over your body and your mind. Good. The point is that we've just done quite a deep filling I know it didn't take me terribly long, but it was actually quite deep. And he's fine. He wasn't even wincing. Um, he gonna felt nothing. I'm going to take him out of it now. Yeah, which is, you can ask him whatever you like. Number four, let yourself feel relaxed. Let your eyes feel sparkling clear as though they're bathed in cool spring water. Number five, eyes open. That's it. Well done. Very good. You okay? Yeah. Thank you. Great. Great. I'm going to sit up to you and have a wincing. Give Matthew a round of applause. Thank you. Can you sit him up? Yeah. Okay. So that's hypnosis for dentistry. I took a little bit longer on this induction, even though it was called a rapid induction. I just took a little bit longer to take him deeper. He's never been hypnotized ever. Um, so that's the first time. Um, I will mention to you now, and I didn't tell Richard, 
that he's what you call an anxious patient. He hasn't been to see the dentist in quite some years. Could the patient tell everybody how he feels at the moment? Yeah, please do. It's on. Uh, absolutely fine. The mouth is completely back to normal. Fine. Do you want to, do you want to tell people um, the experience at all? Um, I wasn't really aware I was doing anything, to be honest. I was just listening to Sharon and, and just relaxed. I mean, I don't really know how else to explain it. So, other than just being completely relaxed. Were you aware of the numbness? Uh, at times. And I was aware of you doing stuff, but it was just something that was happening. I was, wasn't really paying attention to it. It's pretty good going, I would say, for a high anxiety patient. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't really aware, just relaxed and got on with it. Sharon, first of all, that was fantastic. What I want to ask you is, are all patients hypnotizable, or are there some that are not? Personally, I've never had a problem hypnotizing anybody. Um, as I say to people, I work with people with special needs, Alzheimer's, um, you name it, I've worked with them. Do they want to go through the process of being hypnotized is a different question. Thank you. How long time would it take to acquire the knowledge to hypnotize patients? To learn how to hypnotize? We teach people in a day to be able to hypnotize and understand. In two days, they can be able to do an extraction, um, uh, no anesthetic, that kind of stuff. We know that you don't want to be hypnotherapists because that's our job, that's my job, but I know that you want to be dentists doing hypnosis for dentistry. By the way, anybody can learn hypnosis. I learned many years ago to do hypnosis. You can actually truly learn it in five minutes, but whether you can use it or not in any way, because hypnotizing people is not difficult, but whether you're able to use it or not, it takes a day or two to learn. That's all. But it's not complex. It's not complex. We're dentists after all. We can, uh, you know, you don't, it doesn't have to be complex. If your dentist is, it's got to be easy.